On this video, I will show you how to add a variable product, a product with variation. So for example, for your product, you want your buyer choose, uh, for example, for size, then you can use a variable product type. For example, let's try by editing one of your product, my variable products, for example. And then on the product data type, you can choose variable product. Okay. After you choose your variable product, you can go to the attributes. For example, I want to have this product has a size variation. Then I will click this one. Use for variation okay don't forget to click save attributes after that you can go to the variation okay and then you can add uh, for example add a variation here so if for example you want to put same price for all variation then you can simply choose any size and then click this variation and then put price here for example 17 okay and then I will click update okay and then I will refresh this page you can see that now there is a choose an option size here so your buyers can choose a variation before they can buy this product okay but sometimes for example you have a, you want to choose one of uh, attributes to be the default one so for example the default size is the medium so i will click update and then i will refresh this one again so medium will be your default variation okay now let's try the different scenario for example if you want to have a different price for different variation i will pick the variation again okay we can remove this one first the quick way is you can use link all variations button i will click this one okay now you will have a small Okay, medium and large. You can put your price here for every variation. Okay. So I will click small, I will put let's say 17. For the medium, I will put let's say 18 and then for the large i will put 19 for example i will click update now you can see that the price is different right. another scenario is you want to have more than attributes for the variation you can click the attributes again for example and i will click colors and i will click use for variation save attribute again and after that you can go to the variation and then let's say for example this one is for any colors it's okay you can modify it later i will click update and now when you see this one you can choose size 